is one IT company that's been in the news for a series of top level exits. We're talking about NASDAQ listed Cognizant. Now, though Cognizant is listed in the US, over 2 lakh employees work in India. And if you look at its management, if you look at its uh, operations, its key industries and clients, it's very similar to TCS, Infosys, Wipro. In fact, the company was founded by former uh, employees of uh, uh, TCS. They were part of the founding team. Now, what's been happening here? Uh, last year, uh, Brian Humphreys took charge as CEO, replacing longtime CEO Francisco D'Souza, who decided to move on. And ever since, there have been a series of top-level exits. There have been senior vice presidents who have quit, vice presidents who have quit, and in the latest, their India managing director and chairman Ram Kumar Ramamurthy stepped down after 23 years in the company. Interestingly. He took charge of this uh, position just last year, in fact, less than a year. Uh, the other person who has quit is their global delivery head. He's also a cognizant uh, veteran, uh, Pradeep Shilke. He's also moved on and he's been replaced by an Accenture veteran, Andy Stafford. Now, there have been others who have quit in the last year. There's Jaydi Pundir, there's Vinay Ambika, uh, Archana Ramana Kumar, Rajesh Balaji, Vikash Gaur. Uh, all these people occupied very senior positions. SVPs, senior vice presidents, vice presidents uh, in charge of millions of dollars of business. So what is happening? Is the new CEO replacing all these veterans with his own team? Uh, does he want to completely change the top deck of Cognizant? That's what we have to see. Now, this is also coming at a time when the company's growth hasn't been as great as before. So they used to grow above the industry. That has come down. They were also uh, at, the, at the receiving end of a ransomware attack recently. And uh, if you look at the way they have been treating employees, they've announced voluntary separation packages. Their India employees are upset because they say that they are being forced to go on the bench and then resign. So clearly a lot of headwinds from all directions. We have to wait and see how Brian Humphrey sorts this out and the larger cultural shifts this is going to have because though Cognizant is listed in the US for all practical purposes, it is an Indian company or that's the way it was. Will that change going forward? That's something that we have to wait and see. But clearly this is leading to a lot of uncertainty, a lot of anxiety, because you have so many, an entire slate, a management slate, a leadership slate quitting in the last one year. So that's the big story happening as far as Cognizant is concerned.